Welcome to our show, Too Blessed to be Stressed. Today, our guest Tim will speak to us about holiness. Is it possible or is it a myth? Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Yes, yes, and here we are again in your program, Too Blessed to Be Stressed with David. And Jahira. That's right, baby, that's right. That's right. And today our special guest is our man, Tim. What's up, Tim? What's up, David? How you doing, Tim? I'm doing blessed, brother. I'm, I'm doing well, man. Doing amen, well. amen, amen. And um, today's uh, theme is holiness. What, what's the theme again? I forgot. Myth. Or possible. Yes. Oh, myth yeah. or That's the question. That's a possible. <laughs> Final answer. Yes. Amen. 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 So today we're going to speak about that. But before we continue, I want to just thank everybody that's tuning in to this program, Too Blessed to Be Stressed. I want to thank Net TV for picking this show up. You guys are crazy, but we bless the Lord because we know that this word today is going to reach many, many people. And before I continue, Yahida, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Yeah? I'm doing much better than yesterday. You know, it was cold and it was crazy, but we are blessed. Amen, amen, amen. So today we're going to we're gonna be using the, the, you know, the Word of God today and, and Psalm 119 to speak about this. But before we go into this, um, let's talk to Tim a little bit about who he is and what his name is, his, his social security number, his bank card, and, <laughs> uh, Tim, and PIN once number. Once again, no, don't yeah. listen to him. Um, you know, yeah. Tim, every show I'm trying to, I'm trying <laughs> to get... They warned me about you, David. They warned me about you. <laughs> every no, show I'm no, trying no. to get a PIN number, she won't let me. Huh? No, no. <laughs> every show, she don't let me. She don't let me. No, you have to keep it short, Tim. But we just definitely want to know, like, where you come from, where you were born, maybe, you know, give us a yes. little short, you know. Yes, just, just, I, will, I will. But please, um, talk to us a little bit of who Tim is, and from, then... We'll continue from there. Let's do it. I am from Jersey. Jersey, Jersey. Jersey in the house. Yes, Jersey, Jersey in the house. Jersey. The long trip to Jersey. But uh, yeah, born and raised in Jersey, North Jersey, Bergen County. Um, you know, I'm from a, a town called Saddle Brook. Um, I could have sworn it was Saddle Hood growing up, but, <laughs> but you know, my hood's got white picket fences, you know, little little dogs named Fluffy, you know, it's a real hood. <laughs> Fluffy. And uh, <laughs> so that's home for me. And, and uh, I, I currently work uh, full-time in, in evangelization, youth and young adult evangelization, amen. traveling and, and proclaiming the word of God. Amen, amen. And trying amen. to light a fire in the young people. You that's know? right, that's baby. The, that, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's why we're here. So, um, <clears throat> today's theme is holiness, myth, or possible. Tim, what do you think about the theme itself? Mm. It's possible, brother. It's possible. And, and I'll tell you what, it, it's... um. I think especially, you know, I, I think in terms of like young people, you know, and when I say young, I don't just mean like, you know, like, like, like high school. I mean, just, just young adults, you know, I think a lot of times we see it as like, I can't be holy, you know, it's a lie though, yeah. but it's the lie that the culture is speaking to us. Like, I can't be holy, right? you Amen. know, and, and we got to, I think we as, as, as men and women of God have a responsibility to, um, to proclaim the truth, which Amen. is that it Amen. is possible. You know, but yes. it's not by our own strength, but but Christ makes it possible in us. Amen, you know? amen. You know? you know, and I think that's 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 so true to him because you know the culture tells us, you know, don't even try it, don't even go mm. for it. I mean, you're aiming too high, like you know, just mm. just you know, don't just be normal. Just be normal. What, yeah. what, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah. What are you trying to be? But but of course, God is calling us to to not live in in what normal is, but but God is calling us to be, to be set apart. To be different. And um, before we continue, Tim, I would love for you to read for us. Um, today's reading is taken from Psalm 119, from yeah. verse 9 to verse 12. Could you please proclaim the word? And we're going to build on, on this word and, and see where God takes us. Because I believe that today God is calling us, calling you to live a life of holiness. Psalm 119, verse 9 and following. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have laid up your word in my heart. That I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Amen. Amen. I, mean, I think 
We gotta, we gotta <laughs> clap yeah. for the word. Yes. We gotta clap for the word. And you know, yeah, I don't know about you, but when I, when I, I don't know about you, Timmy. When I, when I hear that, I mean, it's, it's mm-hmm. like it tells us, like, first of all, something to question. You know, how can a young man, you know, be without fault or live right? And the answer is right away, only by keeping your word. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, but when I hear that, it doesn't give me any type of gray area. It doesn't, you know, no room for, like, uh, misinterpretation mm-hmm. of uh, maybe God didn't mean that. Like, no, this means, this is what it means. Like, if you want to be holy, you have to be in the word. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. And but I have I have a question for okay. Tim. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Just because I, I know I, I you know since I, I met him is every time I hear him he he's on the word and he's talking about the word he has his Bible with him, but I just have to ask you, were you brought up in the word? Mm. How you come to to know the word to fall in love with the with the word because I think that's yeah. that's a problem that as youth we all have. That kind of, you know, if, unless we're brought up, and even when we're brought up in the Word and Catholic school and, on, and all this, we still are very hesitant yes, to yes. pick up a Bible and, and read and, and really talk to people about, oh, you know, this is what Psalm 19, 119 says. We usually don't do that, you know, yeah, like true. in the regular. We try to, again, act, blend in, be normal, well, even when we know that that's what we're called. Well, not only that, as you said, I mean, how can I even quote 119? I don't even know. When I don't know it, you know. <laughs> What's a psalm? <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you talking about? What is, what so you? I just want to know, you know, like, how do you come to, to be in love, to know the word, to, to, to have hunger for the word, and, and you know, to just come like that well, what is your conversion uh, what you know how you come to this terms for me I'll, I'll tell you this much is that I am in love with the word you know Amen. but the word is a is a person the word is the person of Jesus Christ you Amen. Know? And, Amen. so for me it's it's falling in love with the person of Christ okay. and the word be, the, when you know it says in John's gospel the word became flesh the word is Christ himself right and, and so as a young man no I can As a young man, I could care less about the word, about Jesus Christ. You know, I didn't the Bible, what's a Bible? You know, what's what's a psalm, like you said, David. But um Sounds delicious. The, <laughs> yeah. Is that a drink? But but as a as a as a young man, not not particularly being raised, I, you know, I was a cradle Catholic. You know, my family was Catholic. We You know, as a good a good Catholic family, we went to mass on Easter and and you know wow. sometimes Christmas too. <laughs> sometimes you know? Christmas. Yeah, oh, got, yeah. your, got your got your uh, ashes. Got my ashes. <laughs> yeah, you have ashes. Your nose. You have Every to... other year ashes. Yes, though, you know, you don't want to get too much ashes. No. <laughs> um, but you know, as a as a young man, I, I didn't really care much about the Word of God, about Christ. Um, I was a good kid, you know, right. like like you know, I was a kid that I was a kid that else. yeah yeah you know I was a, the kind of kid that like mothers would be like oh you know I hope my son hangs out with Tim with you know? Timothy he'll be a good influence with Timothy <laughs> but you know like a good influence to to what though you know like um, I went to Catholic high school because I wanted to play D1 college football wow and we had a good good football program at the high school so I said I'm gonna go to Catholic high school and little did I know that oh the that's Lord, basketball I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little did I know that the Lord had um, had a different plan for me at that at that school Amen. and that's where I would fall in love with the word with Amen. Jesus Christ that's, that's bowling I'm sorry um, <laughs> you said football right yes um, <laughs> but, but uh, you know we can bowl if I could you know change the story for next time so 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 Tim so now you're, you're doing football as you yeah. know I was you know Um, where does Jesus come into this? Because I don't know about you, but I, the, the, that's, that's like a full contact. Was it flag football? No, man. This was okay. the real deal. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, real. I'm sorry this to offend you. He wanted you. to go professional. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry to offend you. <laughs> so you're doing football. How does Jesus come into this picture? Yeah. Because, and you know, and it's great that you're talking about this. A lot of young people, they'll say stuff like this, for example. Well, I don't need Jesus. Because yeah. I'm not bad. I'm not yep. killing anybody. I don't kill yep. nobody. I don't steal. Yep. I mean, I'm not a drug dealer, but he was a, is a prime example. You're doing the right. I mean, as you said, people yep. will look at you and be like, yep. you need to be like Timothy. And now you're playing football. Where does Jesus come in this whole deal? I mean, Jesus comes into it, man, um, because I, I was, as, as a sophomore in high school, I'm sitting in an auditorium in my Catholic school, right? Right. And you know how these all-school retreat days go where, oh, yes. you know, you're sitting down and you're sitting there and, you know, you got the person up there preaching and, you know, I'm really sitting next to, like, trying to sit next to this girl because I'm trying to get her number or something, you know? Like, this girl looks kind of cute, you know? What grade is she in, you know? And, um, She's new freshman. <laughs> exactly, you know? Another retreat day. I can sit next to a nice-looking girl. Of and course. So, Why not? So here I am, literally, sitting next to this girl who I'm trying to talk to and, you know, hey, how you doing? And, you know, what's this guy talking 
talking about? And all of a sudden, I'm watching this guy up there, a young man. He's a, co- a, a, a young man in college. And uh, I said, there is a passion that just drew me. Amen. I said, what does he have? Because I want it. Amen. And, um, and that passion just grabbed my heart. I mean, it grabbed it. I couldn't, I couldn't take my eyes or ears off of this message. And it was, um, it was, a, it was a convicting message. And it told me that that I needed to to really take a look at myself, and I needed to change, man. Amen. And uh, you know, I was a good kid, but but I, I was wrapped up in things. You know, of I was course. wrapped up in the the party mentality, and, and I was wrapped up in women, and you know, I was in impure relationships, and right. those were things that I was addicted to. I mean, it wasn't just like a little like thing. I was addicted. I couldn't let go of those things. Amen. And um, so I didn't think holiness was possible. I mean, I would look at that like holiness like wait a minute like even if it is possible i don't want it you know what I'm you, you were like, not interested you know i ain't trying to walk, holiness no i ain't trying to walk around and you know i thought it was like being holy was being opposite of what's cool of course you know yeah. what I'm I mean? cool. so, so if baggy jeans are cool then holiness must mean wearing tight jeans right you know yeah. what i mean or if holiness, thank the lord for yeah. no for, I, don't, I don't like tight jeans yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't think i will look good enough no it's big no. guys don't yeah, wear them i don't know no, no. So, so tim you know it's interesting i don't think but it's interesting because that's the way it goes mm. i mean you're you're in this crowd Although Romans 12, 2 t- calls us to go against the, 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 the current. Amen, man. You know, you you're in this crowd against. and, you know, you're, you're, you know, but it's amazing how the word, as you said there, became a person to you. Right yes, there, yes. it became real to you. Somehow, what that man was speaking just drove into you and, like, convicted you. And um, that that's amazing because that's what the word does and is supposed to do when it's preached with the anointing of God. Amen. And when we're, when, you know, people, that's why I, I love talking about the word because I think one of the main things of this program is people understand that, yes, there will be times when, when you will be stressed. Mm-hmm. But when yes. you have the word, you will be too blessed to be stressed. Yes, you Amen. definitely Amen. are. You know, so so now you, 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 you receive this. I and received I, it. I, I, I could imagine, I mean. I don't know about you, Yahida, but if I'm sitting next to a girl, I mean, I'm only sitting next to a guy, um, <laughs> and I'm talking to this chick, you know, and I got the word now, the conversation changes. There's, yes. a, there's a shift there. Yes, there has to be. There has to be a change of, of, of attitude. Yes, there has to be. As the word says here, how can a young man be holy? You got you to keep it, keep it real. You know, and how, how do you keep it real now that you like, oh, my God, yeah. God is calling me. It was a battle, man. Like, like the the reality is that that um, it's easy to like navel gaze, you know, and say like like what what do I need to change? But re- the reality is like I I had to keep my eyes fixed on Christ. Amen. Because every time I looked at myself, I fell back into those things that that that, that I was holding on to. All right. And um, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, let's talk about that. Yeah, about about the temptations that young kids are going through right now that are stopping them from being holy. Mm. Yeah, I think it. You know, and and that's the the main thing we wanna. When we come back, try to, through the word, how do we actually come to the point to actually be holy right. and make it possible in our lives? Ooh, I got a testimony and, <laughs> for you, sister. Amen. <laughs> so we're going to do that when we come back. Yes. We're going to go to a break. So hold on to your story. Don't go anywhere, anyone. People. So please, um, when we come back, I really want to hear your testimony because <laughs> I know that's one of the hardest things for all of us, for, for our youth, for the people that we preach, the people that we work with, that they just want to blend in. They don't want to be different. They don't want to be holy. That's the, the word, you know. Well, they don't want to be there. So I think that's what we have to amen. strive for. Yes. That's what well, we're called for. When, so when, when we, we come, come back. back, when we come back, uh, Tim has a testimony that will shake your boots. But more than anything, make you realize that God is calling you to be holy. Don't you go nowhere. We'll be right back. I'm going to leave you with this holy fire. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, man. Yes, that's right. We're back here in Too Blessed to Be Stressed with David and... Jahira. That's right, baby. And with our guest, Tim. And Tim, you got us hanging on like a cliffhanger uh-oh, type uh-oh, deal. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're like this. Yeah, grab on, brother. Talk to us. <laughs> grab on. Talk to us. Man, we just... What did Jesus do? Man, Tell me. You know, I, I was I was just sharing how, how I didn't think it was possible to be holy, man. To be set apart for the Lord. You know, to really live that life that he was calling me to. To live by his statutes, by his commands. I didn't think it was possible. And, uh, and I battled with, with, these, with this for a while. Um, but the testimony is this. You know, I, I shared that I struggled with that impurity mm-hmm. in, in relationships. And, um, 
but by the grace of God, I battled that. I couldn't let it go. I couldn't let it, but then I let it go. And then, you know, a couple of days later, I grab back onto mm -hmm. an impure relationship with, with a woman and, and, you know, let it go again. And, and then, you know, the Lord, the Lord really convicted in my heart, like, Tim, grab onto me. Amen. And don't let go. Amen. And um, by the grace of God, what has it been like? Eight years now um, since I've even kissed a girl. Whoa. Kissed. Santo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> I mean, and I'm a young man. I'm not wow. married. I'm not married, you know, but. But um, I said, you know, Jesus, I, I'm, I'm going my, I'm, right I'm, I'm to save myself for marriage. But I ain't just going to save myself. Like, you know, people talk about saving ourselves. Like, I'm going to save sex for marriage. Like, but I'm going to save an expression, wow. any expression of my love. Yo, Tim, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I need to, I need to <laughs> rewind. Yeah, man. Rewind. Yep. What, what you're saying to me right here, right now on on net TV station. I'm saying that. On Too Blessed to Be Stressed. Yes. You're telling me that holiness is not a myth. No. That it is no. possible. No. Because you're saying right now that that that, that you're eight years that Tim's lips, boca, labios, <laughs> have not kissed a female. And that and that and, don't and, make you holy. And, that, 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 I, that. I understand that. But just a fact, because you understand, brother, we are living in times yeah. where you say stuff like that, and they might even think you gay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They, they might could, even say they could think they it. might even say, look, but uh, it ain't true. <laughs> Tim, Tim um, looks manly, but so what you say? No, you know what I'm saying, bro? Because I need man, people true. to understand this. True. The word says that we can be holy. You yeah. know, Tim, I've always said this in Yahida that God will never ask us to do something we cannot do Amen. or be something that we cannot be. Amen. Yes, yes. I mean, this is powerful, bro. Because, you know, I mean, you, what you're saying to us right now is that holiness is not a myth. No, it's not. But I tried Praise doing it. God. You see, I tried doing it for, for three years on my own, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't stop the things I was doing. I mean, I'd go to bed at night crying. I'd cry in my, in my bed. Lord, I was afraid. What if, the, what if my girl wakes up pregnant? You know, what, what, what if she calls me with that phone call? Wow. You know, what if wow. I get that phone call? Wow. And I'd cry, Lord, I want to stop. I want to change. Not because of that, but I want to change for you because I love you. And, and I would battle it. And it wasn't until I really said, Lord, I can't win this battle without you. Amen. I can't win the battle for holiness without you and um and that that's really that's that's it because i i for too long i associated holiness with purity like it's the same thing right okay. but but to be holy means to be set apart of course right yeah. and, and so so it, it, it doesn't directly so correlate with purity although purity is part of holiness. Yes. Yeah. yes but to be holy is to be set apart so we are holy we're called to be set apart exactly we're called to not be conformed to that's, this world that's right, right. that's right but that's to right. be transformed that's right Amen. that's right and and and, and, and as, as the word says that you read you know it says here with all my heart i seek you mm -hmm. so now you're you're in this in this search in this seeking i don't know about you had but I'm, I'm thinking about this if you were tim's girlfriend and all of a sudden, he's talking about, I don't want to kiss you. Uh, uh, I, I don't no. want to be with you. Um, what, what is your reaction? It, was, it, was a, it wouldn't be a good one. <laughs> Definitely. No, I, I, I'm sure I would not uh, contact you anymore. <laughs> I would so I'm sure you. that... I didn't get contacted anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it, it's, got, it, it's in love, though. It's got to be like, you know, this is because I love you. Yes. It's not, it's not because I don't, but it's because I love yes. you. Yes. That I will prove my love through sacrifice. Amen. Amen. You see, I'll prove my love just like Christ proved his love yeah. through sacrifice, so, right? So isn't it, isn't it the fact that the truth to say then that when you aspire to holiness, you also want others to aspire as well? Amen. Amen. Yes. So you're, you're saying to her basically is, you don't understand. I don't only want this for me. Yes. I yes. want this for you. Mm. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be better than you. Yeah. I want, I want you to join me in this radical lifestyle of not kissing nobody. And I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. you I told know. her, I said, I can't lead you into sin anymore. Exactly. I got to lead you to holiness. Yes. And yes. if you ain't on, then I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow, that's powerful. That Amen. is crazy because, Amen. you know, um, we need to talk about this. Mm. I, I, I feel that, that in church, we're not talking about this. We're, we're talking about, you know... Uh, uh, but in these small things, 
Yeah. You know, God can be glorified. Yeah, but I'll tell you, it's not easy, though. That's oh, no, no, no. Like, I, I got to college. Oh, what? Oh, wow. What? what? <laughs> you know, I was play, and I was playing college football oh, at the time, and you know what goes down in the locker room, Ooh. what dudes are talking well, about. Well, I don't know, really, but. You know, but, but <laughs> yeah, I'm I've never, I never been like, there, you know. <laughs> fraternity houses, you know. Wow. And, and um, I walked into my room one day in a fraternity house, right? And my roommate had the, the wall covered in Maxim magazine, like centerfolds. Whoa. Wow. So I said, okay, Lord, um, I will not stay here. I will not stay in this room. And I, I, I made a decision. And, uh, and I stuck to my decision, and I spent a year and a half sleeping on a porch outside. Wow. Wow. A Crazy, year and a half. right? Yes. But I had, to, I had to, I said, I cannot be in this room because it, 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 it I will fall. You know? I will fall into, into temptation, into sin. Of course. So, you know. And, you you know gotta... and it's amazing because I was talking to uh, Jose earlier. Yes. And we were talking about how God is, he, it says in his word that if we change the way we think, we can change the way we live. Mm. Mm -hmm. And and of course, right there, you, what you're saying to us is, you know, and people who are listening is, you can't be holy in an environment mm -hmm. that is conducive to, to unholiness. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, the first thing that God did when he made light, he separated light from darkness. Mm. He's like, hold up. I mean, for, for this to happen, there has to be a separation. What do you think about that, Yohaila? Amen. And it's, it's what we usually, what we tend to do is when we, we convert or, or we think that we're like, wow, God has won me and I'm going to do this. We stay hanging out with the wrong people. Yes. We stay hanging out because I'm, I'm going to change that person. Amen. That's how we usually we think. You it's, know, if yeah. I'm in love with God, God, you know, I'm I'm gonna change it, and it's I think true. that's that's our problem. We cannot say I'm gonna change, or I'm gonna change my boyfriend, I'm gonna change my husband, because we don't have that power. We yeah. just unfortunately, we wish we did. We well, just I we mean, wish we did. You look at you look at Christ, right? I mean, he was he was always spending time with the sinners, right? But did he enter the pagan territories though? No. He was, you know. He so is. see, he he met him on common ground. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I think in. In our lives too, like we gotta be careful. And I know for me, I have to be very careful. So, so Tim, yes. I'm to cut you off. So in college, yeah, how, how did you do that, bro? How did you, what? how did you do this? Because you know, people that you know, I mean, students, for mm -hmm. example, yeah. I think that college time is, is very dangerous. Oh yeah, those those high school yes. years are, are dangerous yes. because you're you're coming against these forces. Yeah, and how did you? You know, I mean, I already heard what you did with the, with the guy in your room. <laughs> you, you know, you, you slept in the hall, you know, in the porch. But I'm saying, let's say somebody, somebody who's right now, right now listening and saying, man, you know what? I feel Tim. I see what you're saying, Jahida. Yeah. David, you know, big up. But I don't know about this holding this deal because, you know, it's crazy. How, how do you do that? Well, I picked up a book when I was going off to college. It said, How to Stay Christian in College. Well, Amen. Okay. <laughs> and, and, I never and, heard that one. And I, I saw the book and I said, mm, mm, no, no, this book is wrong. It's not how to stay Christian in college. Yes. It's how do I conquer my campus for Christ. Amen. You see Amen. What I'm like, Amen. Like, there's a difference. I don't want to just stay a Christian. Right. It's like, oh, I made it through a Christian. Right, right, you right. No, like I, I want to become alive. I want to grow. Yes. So so mm -hmm. how, how did I do that? Yeah. Is, is I prayed, man. I Amen. prayed Amen. and I prayed. I Amen. locked myself in a little Jesus closet, a little Eucharistic chapel. Amen. And they, they hid Jesus on my campus in a closet. Literally, the tabernacle was in a closet. Wow. And I would hide myself in that closet. I'd lock the door and I would beg Jesus. I'd beg him to help me, to help me because I needed him. Amen. And he provided me with a community there. Amen. We founded a ministry called so, called Soldiers Ministry. Amen. And, um, and, and soldiersministry.org. And um, we founded that community. And it's a community of brothers and sisters who wanted to evangelize, but not just evangelize, but become holy. Yes. Amen. And you conquer. Know? And conquer. And, and extend territory. And, yes. And, co and conversion. A yeah. Keep going, brother. <laughs> yes. Keep going. Preach it. <laughs> and and that, was the, that was the truth. Is like, and, and because for me, I know I'm either going to party or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something about the party scene. Yes. So I would go out to the corner on, on Friday night with my Bible in hand. And I would just stand mm -hmm. outside and I talk to people. I say, "Hey, what's what's up? How you doing? You know, just start conversations, wow. make relationships." I wasn't out there thumping Bible passages saying you're going to hell because heck, I was <laughs> probably going <laughs> to hell too. <laughs> if I was, you know, but but the reality was, wow. I just I just shared my heart with people. I buy them a cup of coffee, and, and, and um, I knew if I if I put myself on Amen. the line for Amen. Jesus, Amen. I would be held to that standard that yes. I was preaching. Oh. Hey. Amen. You know. And, and basically, that's what, we gotta do. what you're saying is that is that that's the, that's right there the trick right there. We don't want to do it because we don't want to be held to the standard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. We rather be undercover Christians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only when we go to church. Undercover Christian. 
undercover Christian? Undercover? Break it down. Undercover? Yeah, yeah we, we, we don't want people to know we're Christian. <laughs> we don't want them to know we're Christian because then we get caught in the dirt. That's it, man. That's now, it. How do you not stay undercover? I got, and, I got and be caught there too. Oh. <laughs> times, man. Undercover Christian, man. I had to make a decision. I remember showing up to college football camp and I, I you know, you could be a new person. You, no one knows you there yet, you know. Yeah. So I said I could have a new identity and right. And um, man, when was, you when you already had an identity, already had an identity in Christ, already had one. But but I wasn't sure if I, you know, hey, because now I'm going to be held to that standard, so I got to. I can't let everybody show know. That. But I walk into the college locker room and this this dude on the football team, his name is Biggs. Right. Now Biggs was a big dude, <laughs> and he was sitting in his locker reading the Bible. I said, wow. what? Well, I, said, I looked at him and Biggs was a big dude reading the big Bible, and I said. Well, if Biggs is reading the Bible, I said, "There's," I, I said, "That that's supposed to be me." Amen. I'm supposed to be that witness, Amen. but I'm not being it right now. Amen. Yeah. And that that called me out. I said, "I gotta be that radical witness. Wow. I gotta wow. live Amen. it. I wow. have to." Yo, you know, ugh, time flies when you're having fun <laughs> talking about Jesus. Yeah, We're man. about to wrap this up, but before we wrap this up, um, Tim, yes. you know. Any words of encouragement for any young person right now who's trying to do the, the holy thing, who's trying to do the Jesus thing? What I mean, any words that would encourage them to to do that, to to not be you know held to the standards, to know that they yeah. have an identity in Christ. Don't try to search for a new one. Any words before we close the program? Yeah, man. Here's the word, man. The the word comes from uh, Pope John Paul II, man. My, yes. my, one of my heroes, you know. And he said um, one of his his his, his preachings, his homilies at, at Saint Padre Pio Parish in Rome back in during his pontificate he said to the young people there he said my sincerest desire for you is that you would soon become holy and soon become saints praise the lord Amen. and that's that's got to be our, our goal man praise to become lord. saints right Amen. Amen. to become saints each and every one of us that's the call on our lives and, and, and we just we got to we have to we have to because if we don't our life is is just a tragedy because that the grace is there Amen. We Amen. can do it. Praise the Lord. Amen. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tim, so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you. And again, to all our listeners, please, uh, it's possible. And we have a perfect example in front of us. No, not Tim. perfect, but... Well, well, struggling, again, struggling <laughs> asking God, we all struggle, and Amen. I guess that's that's part of being a human. Yo, we have uh, to go through the struggle. I'm to like before we go, I'm got like like 30 seconds, man. Yeah, yeah. Give me give me a little spoken word real quick. A little spoken word. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Come on. All right, man. See, I I I need Jesus Christ, and and I wish I could know the plan of this man for my life. See, I could bypass the strife, no more worldly hype. I could live in the bliss if my world was like this, but sometimes it's like Judas, I kiss and then I turn away, and I wait for the day when we all can just say that Jesus Christ is the way. And I pray when I lay in my bed. I got some deep thoughts in my head, but it's through his word that I'm fed. Matthew 4, 4. Check it out. It's a verse which has shown that man doesn't live off of just bread alone, but every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. So as my stomach starts to turn, I don't hunger for anything but Christ. Amen. 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 My people, my peoples. Yes. Hallelujah. It is possible. <laughs> I'll see you next week again on Too Blessed to Be Stressed. People, you cannot miss this. Our, 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 our guest for next week is this crazy dude. It's crazier than Tim. You got to come and meet this uh -oh. guy. I know. I know. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Yo, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. sir. Amen. Thank you. Sir. you. Stay Amen. blessed. And we'll see you guys next week here on your program, Too Blessed to Be Stressed with David. And Jahira. Please come back. Please come back. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us today. We pray that as Tim was talking, that you will also aspire to be holy. Remember, God does not want to be good, but to be holy. See you next week. And remember, check out our website. Stay blessed.